he was when he was first born. From the moment first-time parents Craig and Becky Markovitz laid eyes upon their infant son. So he's got his eyes open in those ones. They knew he was something to behold. It's really hard to see in this photo, but he's raising his eyebrows like he used to do. Small in size, but big in spirit. My first, first time being held, so you can see how small Aaron was. His entry into the world was premature due to a condition Becky had called preeclampsia. Common in first-time mothers, it puts both mother and child at risk. And baby Aaron was born by emergency C-section nearly three months early, weighing just over two pounds. With immature lungs, he struggled to breathe. I, I didn't really see the tubes, I guess. I really, I just saw him. And he was so perfect and so beautiful. And you could just feel his love and his joy. And that's, that's how we remember him. Memory so precious to them now, for just seven weeks later, Aaron, fighting for his life, took his last breath. We woke up that morning and we went to, um, went to see him in his hospital room. And uh, they told us that the night before that his oxygen level was so low that he just wasn't going to make it. So we, um, we spent all that day with him. We, um, we held him, we sang to him. Um, and I like to say we poured all of our love onto him that we could in that day, and we said goodbye. Shortly after Aaron's passing, the couple began fundraising to build a playground near their home in Matamidi, dedicated to Aaron. And there'll be a nice big sign that says Aaron's Playground right on the castle. Their goal was to raise $100,000, and in just two years, they raised 120. Although we're very sad that he died, we're so happy that he lived. And so that's why the whole project is really about bringing joy to people. Um, so, you know, that's what we feel. We feel a little bit of sadness, but also we feel incredibly proud and incredibly joyous that we can share this with our community. The day they showed us the framework for the park, they talked about the community build to take place several weeks later. We've got one guy coming in from Wisconsin who uh, does... Milwaukee. ...showing how human kindness can bring us together when we're physically so far apart. No. Then we'll have about 40 volunteers coming and building the rest of it. We have a beautiful day. We like to think that Aaron had something to do with that. Started. So I was concerned when we first got here that it seemed like there was a lot of work to do and people didn't know what they were doing, but they learn very quickly. So uh, Chris will direct them what to build and, you know, within an hour it's built. Both Craig and Becky's parents, who live in other states, came to town to support their children during the big day. Glad to see this finally happening and coming to coming true. Yeah. <clears throat> We've been thinking and talking about it, and Craig and Becky have been working on this for a long time. So it's going to be nice to have this done. Cherishing their time with their granddaughter, Mila, who was born in December. Say hi. Can you wave? Nope. Craig and Becky say they'll bring Mila to the park often, and though she won't grow up with her big brother in the physical sense, she'll know him through stories and through pictures. Yeah, that's my finger. Is that your finger? Yeah. Yep, he's holding my finger there. And though the pain over Aaron's loss is still very raw, they found comfort in building his memory by building a playground. So many people, our neighbors that we had never met before, gave huge donations. Just people we never knew just connected on a different level with us. And uh, it really, we could all use some good <laughs> and to see the good side of, of humanity right about now.